Hello and good afternoon, everybody on LinkedIn. It is 4.45 p.m. in the... Real quick, as I'm on my way home from the Cancer Center, I'll give you part one of an update. Be right back. Hey everybody, it is a rainy, rainy afternoon here and uh, a loud drive here due to the rain, but um, I wanted to come on briefly. It's easier to do this uh, live than it would be to try to send a lot of messages out. <clears throat> so I'm just leaving the Cancer Center. Left this morning at 6 a.m. now 4.45, so it's been a long day. Um, it turned turns out today that I was able to get one result of a test, two tests, uh, both highly important, one on my brain, second one full body, and the brain MRI with my neurologist, neurosurgeon rather, uh, shows that we're progressing very well in my brain, that everything still looks good to go, clear, no sign of cancer in my brain, that's a good thing. Uh, so the surgery was successful at this point. There is a larger mass area on my brain, which not a mass is in a tumor or anything of that nature, but just from the surgery where they, I mean, they burned out part of my brain. That's what it comes down to. They fried part of my brain, like fried it, literally. And um, that area has some swelling. So that's been some of the problems I've been having with my, my vision issues. I can't see clearly. Um, double vision, things of that nature, uh, most of the day. I'm at my peak point right now where I'm seeing pretty clearly. I get that for a couple hours a day and the rest of it's not so good. So I um, had a great meeting with, with him and my team. And they are also looking into some other areas of some side effects and problems I've been having to try to help me there. I do have some, some spots on my uh, head and my my body, my upper torso, uh, like little sores, legions kind of things or whatever. So we're gonna get that checked out by my uh, my melanoma doc, uh, which is how my whole cancer battle started with uh, these large spots on my back. And I have one big one that's actually come back and we're gonna find out what's going on with that uh, probably next week. So, um, Interestingly enough, June 3rd, my birthday is June 2nd. So, <laughs> so I just wanted to update everybody quickly. I will do another update after I get the results from my PET scan. There are two different scans, one just for my brain, one for my whole body. Uh, the brain one is a different type of scan where the PET scan, those of you that have not been through, thank God, cancer or anything of that nature, it's basically a radioactive, uh, um, not a dye, but radioactive, um, additive to your blood that will attach itself to any type of abnormal cells and it shows up in a scan as a hot spot and that's typically a sign that there's something going on like cancer right so what we're looking for is an all clear on the PET scan that there are no hot spots uh, and I don't have the results of that test yet um, so should be able to hopefully find that out by later this evening or it will be because of the weekend next uh, week on Monday. All right. So I'll keep you all abreast of that situation and let you know. Thank you so much to everyone that has been praying for me, that has been sending me uh, great supportive messages and to know that I'm in your thoughts, your hearts and prayers means the world to me. And uh, I appreciate you so much. That's why I wanted to go live and let you know about this today. And then, of course, um, you know, I'm in the middle, uh, yeah, kind of in the middle, I guess, of my new series on decluttering. And there have been so many of you that have been enjoying this series, and I'm so glad you have. Um, and that's why I'm excited. I put out a post, I think I did yesterday, or was it today? I think it was yesterday. Where, maybe it was today. No, it was yesterday. Where I showed you that, um, you know, of course, I've got a whole 
uh, book coming out with the series that I've been doing available for all of you. Not to mention there's going to be some extra bonuses that come along with that book that will be yours for free as well that I have not uh, and, and won't put in the series. It'll be only for books that get the book. You'll get the extra stuff that goes along with the book, right? I'll tell you more about that down the road, um, but I hope you'll take advantage of that. If you haven't caught up with the series yet, you've got all weekend to do your homework. I've got three videos out right now so far, and uh, they're not that long, easy enough for you to catch up on, and um, I hope that you might find somebody that you can share it with that you find uh, it can be useful for. All right, so that's pretty much my update. I'll take a little bit of a break this weekend. I'll end up posting something, who am I kidding? But I'm gonna not spend as much time intently on my content this weekend as I am on rest. Uh, spend some time chilling and relaxing. I need to take a break for a day at least. And uh, I want y'all to know that I love you. If there's anything I can do in the meantime, don't hesitate to message me. You can go visit me at my site at mattcrump.tv because uh, obviously I'm in the situation where I'm, you know, redoing my schedule and getting ready for when flights start running again so I can start traveling and I'll be taking on uh, more clients for my coaching with business. I've taken a, a bit of a break here during uh, during my time with uh, the brain surgery and whatnot, but um, I am talking to folks now and kind of getting ready for my my next launch here uh, during the summer of the flip. So if you're interested in doing that uh, now, now's the time to talk to me. Let's, let's get it on the books and get you scheduled and get you set up to, uh, to join the flip. So feel free to talk to me about that too. All right, so thanks so much everybody for your, again, for your prayers, your concern. I'll do another update here as soon as I find out uh, what's going on and give you the full report. But uh, the good news is so far that um, my brain is all clear of cancer. That's a praise report. Thank you, Jesus. I'm very grateful for that. And um, I will be praying for and expecting the same result from the PET scan. So uh, let's uh, continue to stay in, in faith together that I get it all clear. And uh, that'll be exciting news. Now, does that mean I'll never go back to the cancer center? No, I'm a cancer patient for life. Unfortunately, this is the type of cancer that I have. Uh, scientifically, medically, is not one that disappears. Um, so I always have to get checked to make sure that we're staying on top of things, which I'm all for. Uh, in the meantime, I'm all for healing too. Uh, so I thank God for my healing, and uh, and I walk in it. Just need my body to catch up with my faith, because my body, I you know, I, I look kind of old, but I feel like I'm about 75, 80 years old in my body right now, and uh, ready to to get back a few years. All right, y'all, I'm uh, gonna get back to the road here. I love you so much. Thank you again for everybody's uh, reaching out to me. Feel free to talk to me if you'd like to. I'd be I'd be happy to help you any way I can. All right. Oh yeah, one more thing. Flip out! <laughs>